in the South Indian Ocean, halfway between Africa and Antarctica. Hydroacoustic Station Number 4 at the Crozet Islands is about to join the CTBTO Global Monitoring System to detect and alert the world of nuclear testing. But before the station can go online, a team of hydroacoustic engineers and contractors must precisely deploy two triplets of underwater microphones called hydrophones. We have a particular position where each of those hydrophones will go in. We have routes which the ship must follow. It's all pre-programmed so the ship knows exactly what it's doing and how to do it. But we were working in the roaring 40s so the weather can be very unpredictable and we're ready for that challenge. Let's see the boats moving, uh, pitching and rolling, and each one of these nodes weighs approximately five tons. And so what you can't have is it to get away from you because it'll swing and damage everything on the deck. This installation has by far taken the most planning, the most preparation of any of the installations we've done so far. We have to be very careful loading our system on. Once we get going, we can adjust it, okay? We have a lot of cables connecting the system together. Uh, there's also some delicate electronics, the laser systems, etc. So craning on is a very delicate task. We have specialist crane operators. Back, back and 10 people plus uh, supporting the, the loading. Are you going to move this? The system, it's tested at every logistical point along the way. It's tested in California where it's manufactured. It's tested again on the ship at Baltimore. And then we transit to the cable factory in Portsmouth. We have 120 kilometers of cable and it's integrated into the system and then it's tested again. So the total installation will take about seven days. There's one day of a quaint for the ship and then we're laying a triplet to the north and a triplet to the south. Each triplet is on about 50 kilometers of cable running out from the island. The team on the island will be able to power up the system and just look at the data. And analysts at Vienna will be looking at that data as well. From our installation down there, we can look into the north into the Indian Ocean, but west into the South Atlantic, east towards Australia and beyond. And we can look south down to the Antarctic, detect the underwater sound which might be produced from a nuclear test. <laughs> 